Fox on Education. Uh, uh, good morning, Stephen. Thanks for joining oh, good morning. us. What do you think about academies coming in to run a school, particularly schools that are, have been put into special measures? Well, I think in the end, if uh, somebody comes in with a good plan and uh, if the school has a good, uh, or the academy trust has a good background on education, I mean, the Thinking School Academy Trust, as far as I can see, has seven other schools in its orbit. And I can't see that there's been any real complaints about what they've been doing. I had a quick look at their... Um, their web, websites and read some things online about them, and they appear to have a good plan and to and to have a, a, you know, a very forward-looking view of education, which you know obviously could benefit a uh, primary school that's uh, had some difficulties. Although I understand Twiddle has been doing quite well on a general basis, and the parents are generally quite happy with education there. The, the parents, in particular, have told us that. One of their big concerns is not so much about the, the school becoming an academy, but more that uh, the Thinking Schools Academy Trust isn't the most appropriate, particularly when it comes to students at Twiddle who have special needs. Yes, I mean, obviously a school that has, uh, or an academy that has seven schools in its orbit must have children with special needs. It may not have as many as Twiddle does, but, you know, all schools have children with special needs. And they, you know, they're duty bound to look after those children. Um, and I'm sure that the provision that that particular academy would give would take into consideration um, the particular circumstances at Twiddle. Um, I, I can understand that, you know, the political side of this, or the, or it's become rather toxic the debate, and it's very hard for people now to stand back and, and take a deep breath and look at the situation in an objective way because I think as Paul has said there appears to have been you know quite a rushed process and um, it appears like it's, an, it's a choice of one although if it's a good choice it doesn't really matter whether there's one or ten. Right, so, yeah I was well I was going to say in your experience of looking at, the, at academies taking over schools uh, taking over the management of schools is there normally a process where more than one would be involved uh, and if and if so is it more of a bidding process and and that maybe parents then and the board of governors can have more of a choice? I don't have direct experience of uh, bidding processes I, I do believe that um, you know in a situation where there hasn't been uh, an Ofsted uh, report like there was last year and a school being put into special measures, there would normally be probably a longer consultative process and uh, the school would obviously be looking around for partners. Um, this appears to have been brought on uh, by, by what has actually happened, although I do understand the school is all, you know, quite positive about um, academy status and there is no fundamental objection to that. Uh, our understanding is of course that, that the Board of Governors have actually rejected uh, um, Thinking Schools Academy Trust. I'm just wondering what do you think, what, what's your understanding of what might happen now because the Department of Education obviously is suggesting that they do take on this, that this trust does take on Twiddle. So w what's next then in the whole process? Well I suppose there could be um, a forced decision which would be sad because in the end it's much better that people agree together and they come together uh, and, all, and everybody's positive about it. I mean, the, the Thinking Schools Academy Trust may in fact be extremely good for this school, but because the processes and the disputes that have arisen have taken over, um, no one's really able to, to see whether or not they're good or bad now. I mean, I think that's the problem. Sometimes if the debate search centres around that, then obviously, you know, the, the whole issue is clouded. I mean, in the end, the most important thing in all of this is the children, and they have to be uh, looked after. And, you know, obviously, further delays will mean that this thing will, will run out for much longer, and perhaps, uh, you know, things that need to be done not being done. Stephen, thank you for joining us. Uh, Stephen Curran, an author of Books on Education. Just to bring back Paul Clark briefly. Um, Paul, I'm just wondering about the Local Education Authority. Could Medway Council have done more with this decision process? Well, I, I think they could, and I think there is